Good morning, Eagles. Today is Tuesday, December 12th, and these are your morning announcements. Ladies and leave, the holiday potluck party will be on Wednesday, December 20th from 2.45 to 4 in room 501. Please miss Pew and Miss Thomas or check the leave remind for and sign up sheet. Seniors, graduate service will be here tomorrow and Wednesday during lunch to take cap and gown orders. They'll be located near door two in Senior Hall. The Christian Club crew will meet again this week, Thursday, to finish up their sweet service project. Come meet the amazing people, hear some uplifting words, and inspire for the holidays. 245, room 210. See you then. Due to the success of the recent hall sweeps during advisory, administration and the hall monitor staff will be conducting sweeps throughout the regular school day and during random passing times other than advisory. If you are not in class when the tardy bell rings, you will be swept up and have consequences for failing to be in class on time. You never know when there will be a sweep, so keep it moving every hour, Eagles. There will be a high 31 and low 17. THT would like to wish a happy birthday to Christopher Knotts, DeAndre Howells, and Daisy Jackson, Chris Don Nelson Welch, Camille Smith, and Devin Turk. Now back to Austin for sports. Today, the boys' basketball team plays against Annapolis. The freshman game is at 3.45, JV is at 5.30, and the varsity game is at 7. Every year, people in the United States die or end up in critical condition due to alcohol-impaired vehicle operators. The common age group that has the largest number of DUIs is usually teens and adults in the age range of 16 to 21. People with the blood alcohol content over 0.8% will be charged with the DUI and their license can be suspended for a year. What are your views on drunk driving and why do you have it? Um, I have very strong views on, views on drunk driving. Uh, my son and his girlfriend were killed seven years ago, October, by a 21-year-old who just turned 21 and went to the bar all day and basically killed them instantly when he hit them. There's a parent group around the Michigan area where they are against drinking and driving. The organization is called Mothers Against Drunk Driving. This organization has helped save over 370,000 lives and has helped cut drunk driving deaths by 50% since its founding in 1980. It changed our lives forever. Um, think about them all the time. Um, if, we're, if we're busy, we're doing what we need to do, but the minute your mind stops thinking about things, he pops up. It all comes, it all comes back. So you're, you're gonna, we're going to live with it the rest of our lives. The, the influence it had on our family, our extended family, everybody that knew them. If you don't want to ruin your life or potentially someone else's, please do not drink and drive. Have a designated driver on standby or call a cab. There are plenty of options to prevent drunk driving and you can be the start to make a change. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.